How it's made, Raptor engines. Elon Musk is a name that has become synonymous with his highly anticipated Mars missions that everyone does not seem to stop talking about. With that being said, the Raptor engines used to launch the famous starships to Mars have gained quite a massive amount of recognition in the process. On that note, let us take an in-depth look into how this engine is made along with its functionality and a few other aspects. The contents of this video include details on SpaceX's Raptor engines and certain other aspects revolving around this major invention. Before you make haste and move on with the rest of the video, ensure that you have given it a like, subscribe to how it's made, and turn on your post notifications. What is the Raptor engine? The King of Rocket Engines, another name given to the Raptor engines, is the main component of the Starship without which it fails to be of use to its respective mission. In simple terms, the function of the Raptor engine is to help the Starship leave the surface of the Earth by breaking the gravitational force with its immense energy and heavy thrust potential. It is not simple to make a spaceship go on an interplanetary mission without it having a massive thrust potential which the Raptor is known to possess. The payloads of around 100 tons are thrust into the air all thanks to the Raptor. Being able to carry a massive amount of payload is very important because Elon wishes to start human life on Mars. For that to become a reality, he would require a plan to carry an enormous amount of essentials from Earth to Mars. With that being said, the number of rockets required is also massive, which SpaceX has in abundance including the Falcon 9 powered by the Merlin engine. But due to the Merlin engine not being good enough for the mission, it was replaced by the Raptor engine. Details of the Raptor engine the engineering concept used in this engine are quite unique and risky, ones that have not been tried out by many other competitors. It is more powerful than the Merlin engine and comes with a bigger version of itself, the Raptor Vacuum Engine. Each Raptor engine is said to hold a weight of 1.5 tons, which supplies the Starship with 11 million horsepower. In simple terms, the weight of the engine of a Bugatti Veyron is just a third of the weight of the Raptor engine. The fuel in the chamber of the Raptor engine is highly combustible and it has the potential to melt its walls. But this is avoided by changing the direction of the flame by controlling the flow of the gas. In addition to this, super cold fuel is pumped through the walls to prevent an explosion. There are quite a few more intricate details on how this engine functions, but we'll skip out on all that and just look into the engine's major components, oxygen and methane. Let us answer a big question that is asked by quite a few people. Why is methane used in the Raptor engine? Methane and oxygen are the major components used in this ensemble. They are combined and deeply cooled near the freezing points which in turn makes the propellant denser. This helps enhance the performance levels of the Raptor engine. Many wonder why methane is used when kerosene or any other hydrogen based propellant work is the perfect substitute. Well, that is because methane functions better and is acquired at a cheaper cost. In addition to these benefits, methane can be stored quite easily and is simpler to maintain at cryogenic levels. With methane having a lower weight, more of it can be stored in the tank as well. Furthermore, when kerosene is burnt, it forms a residue, commonly known as coking, which disrupts the reusability function. With Mars having plenty of methane on its surface, and this engine being a major component of the Starship that will be sent to accomplish the Mars mission, it all falls exactly into place. This would make the missions quite a lot cheaper. How are the Raptor engines made? Before we go on ahead, let us drop a fun fact about Elon Musk. Did you know that this CEO of SpaceX did not study anything about rocket science at school or university? In fact, all that he works on has been self-taught after listening to a variety of experts. Coming back to the topic of the Raptor engines, one of the most advanced rocket components that has ever been created by humanity, let us look into how they have been manufacturing it. Before going into how it's made, some features that the engine must include are that it should turn on and off with great ease, without it blowing up of course. Creating an engine to make interplanetary journeys is hard and making hundreds of these engines is even harder. Even Elon has stated that it is harder to draw out a manufacturing design as opposed to simply designing the engine, but Elon is known to find a solution to all problems and has found one for this as well. Not so long ago, Elon tweeted that SpaceX is slowly approaching the milestone of producing an engine every 48 hours. This equates to 3.5 rocket engines per week which amounts to a Starship being launched every 64 days. This is quite a major advancement. This may seem like manufacturing on a large scale, but when you compare this to Elon's mission of getting a million people on Mars, it doesn't seem like an impossible mission within the time frame. With the previously mentioned statistics, it is pretty evident that the manufacturing design process is quite advanced and successful. One main factor to the success is optimization. Their entire manufacturing process is so optimized that efficiency and effectiveness are direct positive outcomes of it. Wonder how SpaceX is able to optimize such highly advanced technology? SpaceX has always been known to use specialized machines from a decade ago, which is when they started working on the Raptor engines. Most of the specialized machines used are 3D printers, especially the production of the tubes. Tubes can be complicated, but these machines can replicate them as many times as you want without any flaws. 
What many don't know is that the majority of the components of the Raptor engine are manufactured using this 3D printer. But what are the other benefits that come with using a 3D printer? Benefits of using a 3D printer 3D printers are known to boost up the speed of the manufacturing process. Apart from that, they have another major advantage. With the number of failures SpaceX has to go through during their trials, it is evident that a machine is required to not only be fast, but also can modify designs to tweak up the new changes to be implemented in the next set of components to be manufactured. So yes, the 3D printers ensure that the assembly line does not face any disturbances and that the new changes are incorporated into the production. Without this major blessing, a new and modified component would take days to weeks to come into existence before the project could continue. As for the speed of 3D printers, it is much faster than manual labor. It can also work for 24 hours a day, 7 times a week straight without taking a break, unlike humans. This results in more components produced which in turn boosts the efficiency of the manufacturing processes as well. Does SpaceX outsource its parts? SpaceX tries to minimize outsourcing its parts to the best of its abilities. Most of their operations are carried out in-house, integrating all the labor and equipment to function to the best of their abilities. This helps save time as well as improve efficiency in the process. Unfortunately, there comes a point in time that even SpaceX needs help. This occurs when the famous Raptor engine needs to be transported to the required test facility, following which it will be transported to the launch site. As of now, these three locations are at different places and hence have a considerable amount of time wasted on transportation. But the solution to this is to bring all three of these destinations to one spot, which is just a matter of time before it is underway. Manual Labor Schedule Though SpaceX is known to have one of the most advanced systems and technology found on Earth, a certain amount of human labor is required to run the facilities. But Elon has worked on making SpaceX technicians follow a schedule to provide the most amount of efficiency. From September 2019, the technicians working on the Starship project adapted themselves to a 24-hour schedule consisting of four daily shifts. The unique aspect of these shifts is that they overlapped with each other. Many may find this arrangement to be something quite bizarre, but in fact, it totally makes sense when you look into its practicality. How the system works is quite simple. The shift before an individual overlaps with the next shift to maintain continuity in the work being done, as well as constant communication that may be lost when the schedule is in specific slots. Time delays are also prevented in this process. The regular number of shifts around a 24-hour clock which is followed by the majority of companies is 3. It is noticed quite often that the person working in the previous shift is blamed by the person in the later shift in case of errors or confusion. This is prevented by following this overlapping schedule of shifts. So, instead of working as 3 or 4 different teams, everyone comes together to work as one collaborative unit which in turn improves the efficiency of the manufacturing process. Funding is also a major part of this entire procedure with which SpaceX has had quite good luck. As of now, they have been funded in billions for the Starship project and due to the astronomical value of the mission, it won't be hard to find additional investment if the need arises in the future. SpaceX has come a long way since it entered the aerospace industry. With the implementation of the Mars missions underway, a lot of individuals and parties have had a lot to say about its developments. What was your favorite part about these engines? Do let us know in the comments below. Like, share and subscribe to our channel for more.